Have you ever wondered how scholars arrive at their groundbreaking discoveries? The answer lies in a systematic approach known as the scholarly method, an indispensable tool in the world of academia. It's like the secret recipe that cooks up the delicious feast of knowledge. The scholarly method is not just a fancy term, it is a meticulous process that scholars adhere to, a process that ensures the generation of new knowledge is based on solid foundations. It's like a compass that guides scholars through the vast ocean of information, helping them navigate through uncharted territories to uncover hidden truths. Imagine this, you're an explorer, you've just discovered a new island. But how do you prove that it's truly undiscovered? How do you make sure your discovery is valid? The scholarly method is your answer. It provides the guidelines to validate your findings ensuring that every eureka moment stands on firm ground. But the scholarly method isn't just for confirming new discoveries, it's also a powerful tool for debunking myths. In a world where misinformation can spread like wildfire, the scholarly method acts like a fire extinguisher, dousing the flames of falsehoods with the cool water of fact-checking and rigorous analysis. Think about those ancient myths that were once accepted as truths, the earth being flat for instance. It was the scholarly method with its insistence on empirical evidence and logical reasoning, that led scholars to debunk such myths and replace them with scientifically validated truths. The scholarly method is more than just a process. It's a commitment to truth, a dedication to rigorous investigation, and an unwavering belief in the power of evidence and reason. It's a tool that has been shaping our understanding of the world for centuries and continues to do so today. So, buckle up as we journey into the world of the scholarly method, a tool that has been shaping our understanding of the world for centuries. What exactly is the scholarly method? You may have heard this term thrown around in academic circles or perhaps encountered it while perusing a particularly dense research paper, but what does it truly mean? Dive with me into the core of the scholarly method. Imagine it as a meticulously crafted mechanism, a clockwork of intellectual pursuit. It's a process steeped in systematic, objective, and critical analysis. A method that values precision, clarity, and credibility above all, at the heart of the scholarly method lies research, not just any research mind you but painstaking, thorough and rigorous research. Scholars dive into the depths of existing knowledge armed with their curiosity and a driving question. They sift through the sands of information seeking grains of truth to build upon. Next comes the process of analysis. Scholars don't just collect data, they dissect it, scrutinize it under the microscope of their expertise. Every detail is investigated, every pattern examined. It's a meticulous process that transforms raw data into meaningful insights. Then we have the peer review. This is the scholarly method's safeguard, its quality control. Scholars present their findings to their peers, who then scrutinize the work for accuracy, validity, and originality. It's a rigorous process, a trial by fire that ensures only the most robust and reliable research makes the cut. Finally, there's publication. This is the stage where the research steps into the limelight, ready to contribute to the world's knowledge pool. Scholars share their findings with the world, sparking conversations, inspiring further research, and shaping our understanding of the world. So, the scholarly method isn't just a process, it's a journey. It's a path that scholars tread, driven by curiosity and guided by rigorous standards. It's an adventure of discovery where questions lead to research, research leads to analysis, analysis leads to review and review leads to knowledge sharing. In essence, the scholarly method is an intricate dance of questions, research, analysis and communication. Now, how does this scholarly method work in practice, you may ask? Well, let's break it down into its fundamental steps to get a clearer understanding. The first step, quite naturally, is identifying a research question. It is the spark that ignites the flame of inquiry. It could be anything from why is the sky blue to what's the economic impact of climate change. This question is the driving force behind the whole process, the riddle that the scholar seeks to unravel. Next, we have the literature review. This is where the scholar dives into the sea of existing knowledge, swimming through books, articles, and reports. It's about understanding what's already known about the topic, and importantly, what's yet to be discovered. The scholar sifts through the sands of data looking for gaps in the research that their question could fill. The third step is designing a study. This is where the scholar crafts a plan to answer their research question. It's like a blueprint for a building, outlining the methods and techniques that will be used to collect and analyze data. Here, the scholar decides on the best tools and approaches to use, taking into consideration the nature of their research question. Speaking of data, 
The next step is collecting and analyzing it. This is where the rubber meets the road, and the scholar gets their hands dirty, gathering information and crunching numbers. They might conduct surveys, experiments, observations, or interviews, and then use statistical methods to make sense of the data. As the scholar interprets the results, they build the bridge between raw data and meaningful insights. They look for trends, draw conclusions, and answer the initial research question. The scholar then shares these findings with the world through publishing, contributing to the ever-growing body of human knowledge. And there you have it. Each stage in the scholarly method is a stepping stone, leading the scholar closer to their ultimate goal, new knowledge. Why do scholars adhere to this method so religiously? Now that's the question of the hour. The scholarly method, as we've discussed, is a rigorous approach to research and knowledge building. But why is it so important? Why do scholars across the globe swear by this method? Let's find out. Firstly, the scholarly method is a gateway to credibility. When researchers follow this method, they're not just pulling ideas out of thin air. They're conducting comprehensive literature reviews, formulating hypotheses, collecting data, and analyzing it. They're ensuring that their work stands up to scrutiny, that it's based on solid evidence, and that it contributes to their field in a meaningful way. Secondly, the scholarly method ensures reliability. When a study is conducted using this method, it can be replicated by other researchers. This is crucial because replication is one of the cornerstones of scientific research. If a study's findings hold up under repeated testing, we can be confident that they're reliable. Thirdly, the scholarly method guarantees validity. It's not enough for research to be reliable, it also needs to be valid. This means that the methods used are suitable for the research questions being asked, and that the findings genuinely reflect what they're supposed to measure. But the importance of the scholarly method extends beyond the realm of research. It fosters critical thinking, promoting an inquisitive mindset that doesn't just accept information at face value. It encourages intellectual rigor, pushing scholars to be thorough, meticulous, and precise in their work. Moreover, the scholarly method is instrumental in advancing human knowledge. By following this method, researchers are building on the work of those who came before them, and paving the way for those who will come after. They're part of a long tradition of inquiry and discovery, a tradition that has given us everything from the laws of physics to the principles of psychology. The scholarly method, in its essence, is the bedrock of all academic pursuits. It's the compass that guides scholars through the labyrinth of knowledge, ensuring that their journey is as rigorous, reliable, and valid as possible. So, what are the key points to remember about the scholarly method? The scholarly method, as we've traversed through this journey, is a systematic and rigorous approach employed in academic and professional fields. It's a roadmap, a guide, leading us from the realm of questions to the kingdom of answers. To recap, the scholarly method commences with a spark. That spark is curiosity, a question that begs to be answered. This is the first step, identifying a research question. From there we plunge into an ocean of existing knowledge, conducting a literature review. We're not alone in our quest. Others have come before us, and their insights serve as our compass. Next, we develop a hypothesis, an educated guess about the answer to our question. This hypothesis is our North Star, guiding our research direction. Then, we step into the grand arena of data collection. Here, we gather evidence, facts, and figures, becoming detectives in our field of study. Once we've amassed our evidence, we analyze it. We sift through our findings, searching for patterns and connections. This analysis helps us to determine whether our hypothesis holds water, or if it's time to go back to the drawing board. Finally, we communicate our findings. We share what we've learned with the world, adding another brick to the towering edifice of human knowledge. This step is crucial, as it allows others to build on our work, to stand on our shoulders and reach even greater heights. But it's essential to remember that the scholarly method isn't just a set of steps, it's a journey, a voyage of discovery. It's a testament to the power of the human mind and its insatiable curiosity, its unquenchable thirst for knowledge. It's a reflection of the dedication, the rigor, the tireless pursuit of truth that defines scholarly research. Remember, the scholarly method is more than a set of steps. It's a journey of discovery, a quest for truth, and a testimony to the power of human intellect. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to keep up with the latest content.